Quran says in Surah Namal, chapter number 27, verse number 17 and 18, that when Solomon and his army, with hosts of men, jinns, and birds, when they walked, and when they approached a lowly valley of ants, one of the ants said, O ye ant, get into the human habitations, get into your habitations, lest Solomon and his army will unknowingly trample you beneath the feet. People may think, what kind of a fairy tale book is the Quran? The ants talking among themselves? It sounds like a fairy tale book. What an old book it is, 400 years back. But today, after science has advanced, we have come to know that the animal or insect, which has the closest resemblance to the lifestyle of the human being, it is the ant. The ant buries the dead the same way as the human beings do. They have a very sophisticated method of labor in which they have managers, their foremen, their supervisors, their workers. They have a very sophisticated method of communication where they speak to each other. They very often meet to chat. They even have marketplaces where they exchange goods. You know how we have marketplaces, how we have souk. The ants have marketplaces where they exchange goods. And when an ant stores any grain and if the grain begins to bud it chops off the bud as though it knew that budding will cause rotting of the grain and if in monsoon in rainy season if the grain gets wet the ants get it out in the sunlight to dry as though they knew that humidity will cause root system which will cause rotting of the grain you know many times we see the ant taking grain and then going in the sunlight we wonder where they are going they are going out in the sun to dry the grain as though they knew that humidity will cause rotting of the crane.